Obey the Lord your God. Obedience. Obedience. I've been hearing, and I guess in a sense, I guess that's what you could say. That's what I've been feeling in a way just not only for myself, but for everybody else as well, especially for this generation. Holy Spirit, guide me. You know, I was just reading my Bible. I was not about to record a word today at all. At least I don't think I was. But I just felt like I was spirit-led to just speak on this topic real quick. Just about obedience, y'all. You know, it's it's really important because, y'all, we can't ignore the signs. We cannot ignore the signs. I'm sure you've seen where your disobedience may have gotten you in life. You know, yeah, we make mistakes, y'all. But we cannot ignore the signs because you can make a mistake, yeah. But when you continue to disobey and not take heed to the signs or to the things that are happening in your life, to the things that God is trying to show you or speak to you, then that's when we just make matters worse. You must obey the Lord your God. And I know it's not easy, y'all. You know, our flesh tends to guide us or make us do things that make us feel good. But y'all, we must live in the spirit to be honest there's a lot of things nowadays that we do that you may do my friend you know it, it ain't right with you you know it ain't right but you just can't help it a lot of holy spirit a lot of lord to minister to you do not ignore the signs that you are seeing now is the time y'all now is the time you can't just live according to your own will there's only so much that we could do when we take things to our own power there's only so much that we could do but yeah, when you start to live in the spirit, when you once you start to speak to God more, stop doing the things of this world that you used to do and start to live for Jesus. You start to be more holy. You start to do this, you start to do that. It's not a chore. A lot of people feel like it's a chore so they don't do it. We gotta obey the Lord and stop sinning. We must repent. We have to repent, y'all. That's what Jesus paid the price for us. Jesus did what he did in that cross for us so we could have everlasting life. So we could have a second chance. You guys, our disobedience only gets us so much. It only gets us so far in life. We can no longer allow ourselves to continue to be disobedient to God. And yeah, we fall down at times. But when you choose not to take a stand, to make some shake, to make progress, then you're just leading your own self into more and more disaster. I dropped a couple testimonies in this channel. You know, I used to be deep in the world, y'all. But it's like once you start to live more for God, you start to only want to do the things that you know will make God happy. You start to sin less. You start to do this. You start to do that. You guys, we must become obedient, bro. Ladies and gentlemen. And I was reading my Bible today. Right now I'm in Deuteronomy. And <laughs> I hope I pronounced it right. But, you know, I was just reading about this and I came across blessings for obedience. You know, um, it states that if you keep the commands of the Lord your God and walk in obedience to him then all the peoples on earth will see that you are called by the name of the Lord and this was when Moses was speaking to the Israelites he also says the Lord will grant you abundant prosperity in the fruit of your womb the young of your livestock and the crops of your ground and the land he swore to your ancestors to give the Lord will make you the head and not the tail if you pay attention to the commands of the Lord your God that I give you this day and carefully follow them. You will always be on top, never at the bottom. Do not turn aside from any of the commands I gave you today to the right or to the left. Follow other gods and serve them. Yeah, you must obey the Lord. Stop ignoring the signs. I know you probably felt like the Lord has been speaking to you, my friend. Do not ignore the signs. Do not just push him out. The Lord is a gentleman. He's not gonna force you to serve him or follow him or do this and do that or live according to his will. He's not going to force you to do nothing. You must choose to be obedient to God. That's why he gave us free will. Let's become more obedient, y'all. I know we're not perfect, but we must try to do better each and every single day, y'all. The world is crazy nowadays, and we must get right with God more now than ever. More now than ever. This ain't just a physical battle, y'all. It's a spiritual battle. We battle against principalities. The enemy will try to attack this right here, my friend. This right here, all them little voices you probably have going on. Or should I do this? Or should I drive 30 minutes to go link with this girl? Or male, you know, vice versa. Or should I do this or I do that? Should I go tarnish my temple? Should I go sleep with him or sleep with her? Smoke this, smoke that. Should I lie to my parents? You know, you could go on and on, y'all. We must become obedient. Let's stop sinning. Let's start to be more like Jesus. Take it one step at a time. I know it ain't easy, my friend. But let's do better. Obey 
the Lord your God. But hey, I love y'all, man. I don't know. I was just, I was just led by the Spirit to just really bring this word to y'all. But I hope you guys do take heed. God bless.